Alright guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Destiny 2 Beyond Light video, right? Uh, and we are here for attempt 2 at recording this video. Uh, so I'm gonna try and go with this a little bit faster than I did in the original one. And, uh, yeah, so basically, obviously, guys, what we're gonna be doing. Uh, so today is the day of the Deep Stone Crypt Raid race, uh, day one. It's also my birthday, which is pretty fun, cool. Your boy's 21, hell yeah. Which is awesome. I'm spending my whole birthday raid racing on the Deepstone Crypt, and I cannot wait. I'm super excited. Uh, I've been going uh, grinding as hard as I can with, uh, like, you know, with making, like, playing Borderlands, uh, you know, working as well, and then, you know, uh, obviously grinding beyond online as much as I can, uh, just for, you know, for today to make sure I'm ready and all that good jazz. So, uh, with all the stuff being said, let's go ahead break down like our setup, our build, what we're gonna be doing. Uh, first off, we're going to be talking about like the weapons that I have on standby and all like all the types of weapons that I'm bringing And then we're going to break down like what we're doing with the armor and all that good stuff over here. So uh, I guess first things first we can talk about like while we're using, uh, you know, a uh, solar, uh, solar warlock uh, Mostly that's obviously going to be a well uh, the, uh, This should be for obvious reasons. I mean look dude day one raid racing we're, every counter we're going to be we're going to be 20 light below Having a well of radiance is just going to be very, very good for obviously doing damage and staying alive. Uh, so I mean, and plus I, I found myself always running the well inside of the raid. So I'm, I'm just preparing to use my well of radiance th all day today. So yeah, uh, let's actually like go and talk about our primary weapons here. So first things first, uh, we have our escape velocity here. This SMG is definitely my favorite SMG uh, for PVE. We got overflow and vorpal weapon. Combine that with a major spec. This thing is going to be very, very good at downing majors yellow bars all the good stuff like that uh overflow i mean yeah overflow literally gives a double your mag whenever you pick up heavy or uh special which is very very good so you literally can uh reload from like a like let's say you have two then you pick up uh, like let's say you have two bullets left in your mag pick up some special you're gonna be at 80 uh in the mag which is very very good for taking you know taking down those heavy uh heavy major yellow health bars uh so this is a very very good and then we do have a cold denial on standby uh it's mostly my pvp one but it's still gonna put in work over in pve uh, we can obviously put on a major spec stuff like that for it as well uh and then we do have our kinetic long shadow uh for uh, you know we're, i just want to make sure that we have a triple tap sniper and either both i mean both energy and kinetic uh and our long shadow is our kinetic sniper uh with Obviously, the boss pack triple tap and threat detection is pretty nice. And then we do have our true prophecy with explosive payload, drop mag, and a range finder, which is very nice. We do so we have a hand cannon, kinetic sniper, cold denial, pulse rifle, and then we do have our SMG. And then you know we do have a night watch in case you know I will infuse it, masterwork it, all that good jazz uh, in case I need to. And then I have Izanagi's on standby as well. I just do not have the catalyst for it. And then you know we will have, we do have some infusion fuel. Uh, in case we need to have some things catch up and all the good jazz as well but uh let's go ahead and talk about our energy stuff so obviously here is our adored obviously this is the quest one this is going to be our energy triple tap sniper uh which vorpal weapon as well i'll probably put, i'll probably yeah i'll still be using uh boss spec with this as well uh and then you know i mean this is a quest one everybody can get it which is obviously very very nice and very convenient and then you know we do have a bit of a wild guard here so i do have the risk runner uh mostly because it's a fallen raid, and fallen typically do a lot of shock damage, and this could just be very, very useful to, uh, since we're going to be getting so much shock damage. Uh, the risk runner could be very, very useful, so I do have it here on standby just in case. Uh, and then we do have a solar pulse rifle, uh, and then we do have our royal chase here. It has thresh. I figured this could be a, a, a bit of a wild card, uh, you know, help get us some super energy back just in case, you know, we might have... I don't know, I just figured this could be useful just to have on standby, so we have it uh, with us as well. And then obviously, guys, we get, we can't, we, we cannot go without mentioning the True Teller. This puppy's got blinding grenades, auto-loading holster, and disruption break, and then obviously we can put on, you know, we have Icarus Grip on it at the moment, but we could put on minor spec, major spec, ball spec, any kind of, uh, we, we could put in any good mod, honestly. But, I mean... With a raid, when whenever you're doing a day one raid racing, and we're just naturally going to be below uh, the encounter, having the enemies not shoot you <coughs> is going to be very, very nice. Uh, so this is why uh, we're obviously going to have this puppy on standby, and uh, obviously, guys, I mean, we'll have some infusion fuel uh, to infuse this thing up and get this puppy running. But uh, yeah, uh, that is mostly all of our uh, energy weapons. Let's move over to our heavy weapons. So we have about uh, we have about three main ones. 
And then we have a bit of a wild card that, and and uh, that being the Legend of Acrius, just in case we might need this. Uh, we have some infusion fuel. We might need this, but obviously we have the Fallen Guillotine. This thing is just gonna be very very useful for, for destroying high high tier enemies, uh, majors. Uh, I, I, I don't imagine this thing would be used for bosses. I just don't imagine Budgie making a boss uh, t uh, a boss encounter where uh, swords will be very will be just overwhelmingly the best option, especially since they did nerf this thing by like 24%. So I just don't ex uh, I just don't expect it. But in case we do, I mean, we have Xenophage. I love this a machine gun. I found this thing to be so useful, uh, like for the past little over a week now. Uh, and it's honestly just amazing. Uh, I definitely will probably wind up using this thing at some point in the raid. I just, I just do, don't. There's no way where I go through the entire raid and not use this thing at some point. And then obviously we do have our interference. Uh, this puppy's got a clown cartridge, a full court, and boss spec. And this thing also does have spike grenades, uh, which is going to be very, very good. I figured this thing could be very useful to have uh, some burst, uh, burst damage, especially since we do have a reload masterwork with clown cartridge, full court, spike grenades, all that good jazz. Uh, we will easily be able to use this thing for a uh, quick outburst of damage. Uh, you know, we might need this in some encounter, so we do have it on standby just in case. Uh, but that's going to just about wrap it up for the weapon side of things. Uh, just yeah, I mean, we, I feel like we're pretty well rounded over on the weapon side, uh, and I'm pretty. Uh, uh, pretty happy with what we're at over there so uh here is going to be our armor basically what uh, i'll just like go over like the basis of the strategy right so obviously since the raid is going to uh, have us just 20 power under at all times uh there's going to be a there's the one mod that i really think is going is going to be very very useful in here is going to be protective light and that is while we are charged with light we're going to gain significant damage uh reduction uh, against uh combatants whenever our shields get destroyed which is going to be very very useful uh this effect consumes all the stacks charged with light and the more stacks consumed the longer the damage resistance lasts uh and then basically combine that uh that main uh main mod we're going to have three different ways uh, to get a uh, charger's light work with a uh, swift charge. Uh, this will be very useful. Basically, you know, we get charged by light bike and defeating enemies with pulse rifles, sidearms, or SMGs. And then obviously we mentioned two uh, main, like our main primaries are going to be a pulse rifle and definitely our escape velocity, which is an SMG. Duh. And then, you know, we uh, have a discipline mod, but I mean, we could, I mean, we could change this to anything. Uh, maybe, I mean, I could highly, I could definitely see us, you know, getting some more recovery for, uh, for you know, day one rating for sure. Uh, we have grenade launcher scavenger. I mean, we could obviously change this out for invigoration or absolution or something point and then we have you know just smg scavenger as well on our boots uh you know we do also have things like luna factions on standby as well which well, can be very very useful in case we're going to be in rifts a lot and then um our tethering void uh claw or claw <laughs> our class mod uh i've mostly of you been using this to do a lot of the uh, lost sectors uh with surge eater and then thermal overload it's just really good. I don't imagine that there would be any champions inside of the raid, but you know, if there is, I mean, if there is, that's cool. But if there's not, which I don't think there will be, we have plenty of other uh, options like uh, momentum siphon. We have, uh, you know, finishers, all that good stuff over here. And then we have per uh, perpetuation and then distribution. And then we also have high energy fire uh, while charger flight gain a bonus to weapon damage, you know, very, very nice as well. Uh, and then, you know, if our chest piece, we have our roads with transcendence in case we need to sw uh, swap off our Phoenix Protocol in case we need an exotic somewhere else. Maybe we need to run the Fell Winter's Helm. Maybe we need to, maybe, who knows, dude, maybe I, I might want to run co uh, controversials with like some Void Walkers or something. You know, we don't, I don't know. I might, you know, we, I just never know. But in case, you know, I do have our roads with transcendence with protective light on as well just because you know that be that could be real useful and then you know we could always change up the mods as well uh but you know for our phoenix protocol obviously outside of protective light uh we do have some machine gun reserves and then you know we do have like we can get an unflinching pulse rifle aim uh and then some other good stuff as well uh and then you know we do have concussive uh damper just to reduce aoe uh, i imagine that there will be a lot of aoe damage inside of the raid so i figured that this could just be real useful or maybe you know for the vandals you could use sniper damage resistance uh, or, you know, from the wretches, uh, melee damage resistance could be w useful as well. Definitely want to have a recovery mod uh, on our chest piece for sure. Uh, and then we have taking charge, uh, another way to get charged with light for protective light. Make sure we can stay alive when our shield goes down, which would be really useful. Uh, another way to get it by just picking up boards of power, which we'll be doing consistently throughout the raid from all the masterwork weapons that will be going being used. Supers being popped, abilities, all that good stuff. Uh, and then, you know, we, uh, I have anti-barrier on, but, you know, we could easily just put on, you know, SMG reloader, uh, because that'll be really useful with our, 
uh, scrape velocity and then we have another recovery mod as well and then we have just like bolstering detonation but i mean we could uh you know maybe change it to a grenade uh reload relauncher I mean, we have a lot of options uh for our mods is basically what i'm just trying to get out of here uh with uh our gauntlets and then last but not least uh, we have our beautiful helmet uh once again we have uh shield break charge another way to get charged with light which is very very awesome uh then we have some machine smg finder as well we have hands-on and then we have another recovery mod uh just mainly once again we're just trying to get as many ways to get charged with light as possible i know a good build is like you know you you, you could use uh some like uh, some of the some weapons to create war mine cells like i think it's the uh, icolos smg is like the best one at doing that but i don't have the icolos smg so i'm just going for it i don't really have any good ways to generate war mine cells so i'm basically just going for a charge with lights uh style build uh and rock that protective light and overall dude i really feel like that rsmg and our mostly our smg our escape velocity is going to be a, a good workhorse weapon so we have a lot of mods centered around that but uh yeah i feel like we have a lot of we have a lot of versatility in our kit here uh, and then we have a lot of versatility in our weapons and all that good chats. I figured I'd just make this video to show you guys what I'm going to be using personally. Uh, once again, though, we will be streaming uh, our day one uh, raid, like, from start to, uh, to uh, it may hopefully beat it, you know, the entire day. Uh, it's going to be fun restreaming all of that, all that good jazz. And I figured I'd just go ahead and make this uh, quick little video going over my setup for what we're going to be using. And, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope y'all did enjoy the video. My name's Cree. And we'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.